My friend Manuel lost her car last year. The poor thing was hit by a car. She was devastated. But life sometimes can give you just what you need when you need it. Because one day, on her daily walk, she found a little kitty hidden in the grass and meowing because it was abandoned. But I don't understand people, really. So she took her back home and she named her Luna. And she's a gorgeous, sweet little kitty. She had to feed her with baby bottles. She was so weak and we were not sure she would make it. But eventually she became a gorgeous, cute, sweet little cat. And I want to celebrate this by offering a painting of her cat. So I took the reference image and I said, all right, the background is kind of burgundy. Let's grab a Turkish red. If you don't know what is this color, this is a burgundy actually. I've been painting my background with different reds and burgundy and browns and I was really happy. And then I thought, what is her favorite color? It's certainly not red. She's not wearing it. So I had to send her a text. What is your favorite color? Blue? Why? Well, never mind. <laughs> See you tonight. But I had already painted my background. So what shall I do? Shall I keep going with the red? Or shall I do it over again? So this is me removing the paper from the pad. And shall I tear it? Shall I throw it away? <sighs> okay, maybe one day I'll do it. I'll paint it, maybe. So let's go for another tracing. And yes, I'm tracing. And if you want to know why, you can watch this video that I made a while ago about why tracing is not cheating. Let's select another color for the background. It will be blue this time. And I have a ready-made blue that will be very convenient. Not too bright, not too strong, not too Prussian, because Prussian blue is really a strong color. Let's premix a color and make a nice background. And I want to have some texture in the background because it would be boring to have a flat, even background. And then she's sitting inside, uh, I don't know, it's a, a tree cat, a cat tree, <laughs> some place where cats can stand and chill and watch you from above because they love watching you from above. This is almost the same color as the background, but it will be nice with the white frame that I have. And also it will enhance the color of the fur. Regarding the hair, the fur, it's always the same thing. You take a thick paint, kind of almost dry, and you can push it on the paper and get a fur effect. It's layers, layers, layers of different colors. Oops, I'm lacking some white. Time to add more. I have a one liter bottle of highly concentrated gouache. Actually, they call it liquid poster paint, but this is gouache. The same thing. Don't bother too much about that. 
So it's very tedious. You have to layer a lot of hair, a lot of different colors. And at some point, it's really the ugly stage. But keep going. It will become something good eventually. Well, I think I've been too bold with my outline of the eyes and especially the nostrils are ugly. No problem, let's remove that. For this, you take a clean water on a clean brush and you rub, you tap gently with a tissue and you can remove your paint. And if you want to know more about how to fix your mistakes with gouache, I link a video I made a while ago about how to fix your gouache mistakes. with these colors are not to be too bright, too strong, too intense. Uh, you really have to balance your colors. And look at that. This is so cute now she has eyes. And it's time to make these tiny small hair that are really highlighted around her like a rim light. She's, she's really so cute. And by the way, if you want to know how to paint this, I have the complete tutorial inside my membership that you can get. You have the link in description. What about the nice pearl? It's time to give it some highlights. This is the final touch. Look at that. From this image, which was very warm, to the final painting, which is very cool. It works, I think. So let's take it off the pad. Don't forget to sign. And actually, I have written a note on the back. To open the frame, I'm using my palette knife so I don't ruin my nails. Let's go inside under the glass. Every gift deserves to be wrapped, but I don't want to use wrapping paper. It's really a mess for the environment. So I'm using a paper that I save from a bouquet and it fits very well. Just, I'm not very good at making package. Uh, so excuse a messy one. So I'm ready to take it with me tonight and let's see how she likes it. Ah oh non Ah oh non C'est génial Attends, parce que j'ai plus d'ongles. Oh en plus c'est elle. 
extra. Oh non, mais trop bien. Maman. Oh, ça, c'est tellement gentil. Ah, oh, je te refais encore. Oh non, mais ça, c'est génial. Très bien. Incroyable. Bien là, ma chérie. Où t'as toujours ton petit collier Oh là Et Coucou Oh oui Trop mignonne Trop mignonne So I guess I don't have to translate anything. Just did you notice that my voice is different in French than in English? <laughs> well, see you next week